Hello everyone, it's me ASMRE for welcoming you to my new tutorial which is a signature type logo making and it combined with the Photoshop and Illustrator. At first I'll make it in a Illustrator and Photoshop. The full process is that you need a piece of paper and a sign pen which is you can make a sign or signature in white paper. After that you can take a picture and you can take this one in your PC. After taking in your PC, you can make it into vector and then you can use it out or you can make multicolor or different types of color. So I'll show you whole the process. Let's start a tutorial. If you are new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. At first going to the file and taking new options from here, I'm taking an artboard which is 2000 pixel, 2000 pixel and giving the name and checked over here rgb or cmyk i'm taking the cmyk just because of in future i need to make it into um, press publishing or um, press printing that's why i'm taking it cmyk and hit the create button after that go into the file and place options and from here i'll import the signature which is jpeg file and just place it in the middle of the artboard okay after that, I'll make it uh, like a image trace and there are lots of method to trace the image and I'll select one of them. So from here, going to the window and selecting here the image trace. Before that, I want to show you one thing, just taking this one into non-white background and then I'll do the image. Going to the window and here, the image trace options from here and just select the preview options and lots of method over here you can go to the advance or not whatever it is going from here the line art or shield or sketch art just because of uh, this one is uh, into the sketch art i think just because of you can use um, the sign pen or pencil or whatever it is so she load it could be the she load but in this portion you won't get the proper path over here i'll suggest you to go to the sketch option or sketch art option it will provide you the perfect lining and the gap in front or the middle of the lines over there here is also the the advanced options you can experiment with that and when you are satisfied with the result you can just expand it out after making it expand it's now vector form taking in middle of the artboard and write down in normal font going to the text tool and writing something like uh, this one is the photography logo that's why i'm writing the down the photography and i will suggest you to use the uh, like a fixed width font which is really relevant with this matter okay now i'm making it smaller like that and going to the character giving the like uh, here space between two characters or two letters here i'm giving it and now i'll make it in into a little bit downside this is ready for you now i'll make the another version going to the artboard and just making it copy the artboard okay nice now i'll going to the rectangle tool taking uh, square shape and making it into down layer okay that's good and i'll make the white version of this so select all the stuffs deselect this one by pressing shift and now making the color white now if you need to make the multiple color suppose i want to make this one like gradient color so what should i do here the artboard i'll make another copy by pressing alter option and dragging it before making or applying the gradient in this one you need to outline this font just because of when you are outlining the font the font will be vectorized from and uh, you can apply the gradient in vector not in a font so i'm just making it outline and now making it group after that going to the gradient options you can choose gradient from here suppose this one okay it could be your gradient or uh, if you want you can give the two color gradient suppose i want to make it this 
to this okay it could be your logo or it might be your logo so you will get another lots of options to when you are making it vector now time to make it mock-up so mock-up what is a mock-up mock-up is that real prototyping which is really close to the real scenario but not real so this one is the prototyping you have to remember that the mock-up is prototype that means that is not real but close to the real that's why so i'm just selecting this one making it copy so why the mock-up um, just do for that suppose you can go to the print in finally and when you are making the prototype you are getting the overall view about that project and your client could be that's why the mock-up is too much popular to the graphic designer and the clients just because of uh, in a final decision you can just waste your money or your time but in mock-up you are getting the prototype the real scenario but you are saving your time and money that's why the mock-up is important there are two types of mock-up or three types of mock-up whatever it is but in uh, the photoshop i do prefer to use for the mock-up purpose just because of um, those are convenient and easy going type and those are like time consuming so here is a mock-up and i'll provide you the mock-up download link in my video description here a smart object double press in smart object just turn it turn it off and here the guideline you can turn it on for the border and press ctrl or command v and make it, it pixelate and press shift and hold it and making it bigger and place it over here so turn off the border and saving it this is saving in this window so you're getting overall like look how it will be when you are printing it in your visiting card or in paper when you are printing it out so i think you learned a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query or request please do comment on my video comment section don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends and don't forget to hit the like button until the next video i am signing out today stay safe stay at home keep me in your prayers as well Bye bye